out here in the Boulder, Colorado area, actually Lyons area, visiting a great facility where they make preamps and stuff called Grace Designs. Gonna go in and meet Evan Grace and check it out. Maxine's here too. <laughs> and we're gonna go say hi and take a look around the facility and hopefully get a little chat with Evan and maybe Michael Grace. Stand by. I'm Evan Grace. This is our building. This whole building used to be a honey producing facility. So anyway, here's a tour. <laughs> Let's go inside. Where there's air conditioning. Come inside, this is our kitchen. This is Virginia. Virginia's been with us for how long? A long time. A long time. Good <laughs> years. We'll go into production. There's a whole bunch of various things in process here. Um, this is where you know, most of our assembly and production happens. Um, for instance, here's uh, some of our 501 microgram modules. So you guys, you voiceover guys, this is uh, you know the 500 series version of the M101 designed to go into a 500 series rack. At what state is this in production? But these are completed units. Mm -hmm. What kind of a burn-in do you do? As long as we can, but yeah. usually at least 48 hours. Wow. I'll give you a tour of the back first. Here's our shop. So we've got a full full machine shop. Um, we we don't we don't do production machining back here, um, but we do a lot of prototyping, jig building. We've got lathes and uh, mills, drill presses. We have a uh, laser etcher machine, so we do do a lot of laser etching on our panels, especially panels that have black anodize on them or black, you know, powder coat or paint. We we'll do etching for, uh, you know, for legending on panels and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a little studio back here. It's mostly a listening listening room. It's good for mixing, editing, um, and smaller recording productions. So we built this out when we bought the building. A friend of ours designed it for us. We did the whole thing in here. We cut the slab of the building, so there's a you know there's a two inch gap in the slab all around this mm. room, and it's all double wall, tons of drywall. We've got a floating ceiling. Um, yeah, so we just have a little you know little Pro Tools rig in here. I don't know if you guys know this, but we've been we've taken up distribution of key speakers. This is a, a speaker manufacturer from Germany that. Uh, some friends of ours, and they they have gone into production on this speaker. It's called the Key Three, and uh, it's it's very much the best powered monitor in our estimation that we've ever heard. It's just absolutely a stunning loudspeaker design. It's got six drivers per box. Um, each driver has its own 250 watt Encore power amp. It's all controlled with DSP. Mm -hmm. They're flat down to 30 hertz. Um, <clears throat> they have cardioid dispersion, so there's no sound emanating out of the back of the speaker. And all of the sound is basically focused in this incredibly wide sweet spot in front of the speaker. Is in essence steering the sound to the front? Is it that is, through, all through processing. Wow. Um, and that what uh, it does that. is in a, in a less than great listening environment, since there's you know basically no radiation coming out of the back and sides of the speaker, you eliminate all of that first reflection issue that you'll have in a studio. Even you know even if the speakers are placed right up against the back wall, you don't have any of that that first reflection, and especially down in the bass frequencies where that really becomes a problem in a room. And, you know you have to spend thousands upon thousands of dollars trying to trying to you know build bass traps and. Absorb. Yeah. Yeah, if you didn't know what you were looking at here, I would say I'm looking at a speaker with some passive radiators on the back. Yep. But those are not passive, <clears> those are not. totally active. And all six drivers in that box, has each one has its own wow. 250 watt amp. All right, so yeah, here's, here's more of this Dutch bench. We always get assembled, so filling. bolted together. Um, we've got a bunch of stuff here on burning racks. I'll go over with you a little bit. These are M905s. So this is our, it's our flagship stereo 2.1 monitor controller. You know, Pro Tools sort of cut the cord. People suddenly, a lot of people started moving over to different interfaces and that, you know, when the Apollos came out and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Really one of the next purchases after everybody invested in Apollos and, you know, 
stuff like that was a really quality, high quality two channel right. controller. Right. So this luckily has been a really good adjunct for people that updated their, their uh, interfaces. So this is our new eight channel remote controlled mic preamp with A to D conversion. This is the 108. This is a really exciting product for us. Um, the lineage of this was the, the, you know, the first one was called the Model 801R. It was a remote control mic preamplifier. Channel. That was the one I was lusting for when I had a remote recording truck. That yeah. was the one I wanted. I wanted a rack of three of those. With the red screen. Yeah. Everything we, that we learned with the 802, we kind of shoehorned into the into the 108. Um, and this has a lot more, you know, computer interface connectivity and control functionality. So this, um, you know, by itself can just be a standalone eight channel mic preamplifier. With A to D, it can also operate as a USB, as a you know really purest you know eight by two USB interface. There are card module options for it, so you can get a Dante networking audio card in it, and um, it can be operated from the front panel. It also has we have a standalone control app for Mac and PC that's really useful for people you know addressing large systems of preamps and they want to manage IP addresses and all that stuff. That you know that's a network. Um, yeah. piece of control software. And then also the preamps have their own little web browsers built in and you can just log on to a preamp. It's sitting on an IP network. You can punch in its IP number and it'll pop up a little HTML based browser controller. So you can just run this from your phone. <laughs> Pretty cool. Nice. Um, they're, they're light, they're efficient, and they've got our latest generation ADD converters in it. This has a DAC in it as well. It's got headphone outs. So you can monitor your mixes, you can monitor the two channels coming down off the computer. Um, you can do a mix on board, it's got an onboard mixer. Very cool mic nice amplifier, man. really uh, been very successful for us. Is this room over here your skunk works? No, this is, this is <laughs> testing here. Everybody say hi. Everybody pretend you're yeah. working. Hi. Everybody look, hi. look busy. Hey, hello, everybody. Look busy. I didn't see you there. Yeah, so everything everything that we build gets, you know, like I said, 100% tested. So the first thing that they go through, um, you know, once everything's burned in, they get tested on audio precision machines to make sure everything's within, you know, spec performance spec. And then every single channel of every single thing that we make gets listened to as well. So that's what this cat to deal with the headphones on is listening to every every single thing so you know these guys have been the you know the gatekeeper for untold thousands of great design products and uh this is really what you know ensures that the stuff that goes out in the field is going to be dead reliable yeah um, so tell us about this, this is the 900 guy. so this is our, our our you know our new iteration of what was originally the m9xx which was a product we did in conjunction with the folks at Massdrop, which is a really cool uh, sort of curated website retail space. So it's just a very high quality headphone amplifier and DAC. And our version has USB input, toss link input, spit if input. It's got a set of unbalanced outs that you can run a set of monitors with, so it can just be a really spelt little monitor control if you've got a you know mm -hmm. tight little edit room or work room or whatever. Um, can you cut the monitors? Does it have a mic? It cut? sure does. Yeah, the, the way that we do it is there's two headphone jacks that are parallel. If you plug into the right headphone jack, it mutes the oh. line outputs. So Clever. That's the way to do exclusive, it's elegant outputs. Yeah, we try we try to keep this product as simple and as just sort of you know easy to use as, as possible. Nice. Um, anyway, this one cool. this one has a toe tag on it. Failed sound test. So right. this is this is how we make sure that everything. You know, leaves the shop operating at 100%. This will have to be looked at in, in service and mm -hmm. get back in the chain. All right. So once everything's been electronically tested, listen tested, it comes into pack out. And this is where everything gets, you know, the white glove treatment, dust it off. It's all its various accessories and paperwork, manuals, warranty cards, all that kind of stuff. Um, gets put on this shelf and then uh, boxes get made for them. Instead of having the foam rubber foam sets that just suck, we use these things called CoreView. It has this piece of suspending plastic on it and you use two of these together and they clamp down on the product and they, and they, they create a really, really effective uh, amount of protection for the product in the box. It, you know, the, the 
gorillas can throw it around in the cage and uh, doesn't break. Nice. Anyway, so pack out, and then when that's done, uh, everything gets boxed up and goes out the door. So we've got some stock here. We tend to we tend to build in stock. Um, you know, the the smaller, less expensive stuff because you know we that stuff we just cycle through it pretty quickly every month. And then the FedEx guy comes here. Hey Maxine, do you have your FedEx outfit I That's told you to bring? <laughs> Things are released into the water. Into the sun. Ah, too hot out there. It's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta Thank go see fall. engineering. Yeah. Oh yeah, we no, we're not see done yet. The brains are. Oh hey. <laughs> you Michael. See you, man. you too. <laughs> this is Michael Grace. We got that man, right? Yes, you guys come here. It's nice to see yeah, you again. Nice to see you. Hi. Great yeah. to be here. This is where all the magic happens. This is the, these are the, the brains. That's magic spelled is... M-E-S-S. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that monitor, man. But, uh, Jake Coffin came by yesterday and gave me two eyeball ping pong balls, which is really awesome. <laughs> What do you got going on, man? What's in the skunk works that we're not allowed to tell anybody about yet that you're going to tell us exclusively? Well, <laughs> we're working on uh, that. Circuit design, look at yeah. that. Wow, the actual this layout. Is, Holy this, is, uh, this is the circuit board in action here. Is this, uh, what's the program called? Um, Altium? It's called Altium. Yeah. Wow. Altium Designer. That's awesome. So that's the next generation next product that that's coming out. Yep. This is Jeff. This is George. How's it going, Jeff? Hi, Jeff. Nice is to meet you. In addition to the Grace Design uh, Engineering. Oh, you're welcome. Are you regretting your decision? Absolutely not. <laughs> what else would you say right now? Is this your creation back here? No. That's been here longer than I have. What are you working on today? Web development? Linux development. Very nice. A lot of lines of code to work on. Woo, doggies. What code language are you working in? That varies day by day. It goes from assembly to C to C++ well, uh, to JavaScript, well, kind of cover everything. Congratulations, man. Yeah, thanks. Get back to work. Get back to work. <laughs> well, this sort of completes our tour. The circle of life. Is yeah, complete. we've been we've been all around. We can take it out on a high note if you want. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. This was a lot of fun. Oh, you're so welcome. Thanks for coming.